Hey there, I'm Cardinal Direction, and this is Infamous Second Son. Um, this is a pretty chatty part of the game, so I'm going to be quiet for the most part and let the game speak for itself. So this isn't one of those moments, but later on in the game we will have some choice into what we decide to spray paint. So I will let you guys decide what we end up designing. And as you can see there are some, some cute little designs and references on uh, this guy's stencils. Like, for instance, in the top right-hand corner, you'll notice the Sucker Punch logo. It's a, there are a lot of cute little details like that scattered around. Hey, if art is a crime, then just... Oh, damn it. Okay, think, Delson, think. Party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. Just me, Betty. Delson. Would you put the stapler down? Seriously. What are you doing here? Why aren't you at the big to-do at the Longhouse? Um, uh, yeah, I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight, but you look amazing. It looks great on you. Seriously. What were you doing up on the roof? Hmm? Nothing. Just... Were you up to mischief? Come on, I know you're in there. So just... Come on out, or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the keys. <laughs> You're up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Uh, uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you are still here... <sighs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. I don't believe he doesn't have anything better to do. Hello, freedom. And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. So this isn't entirely representative of what actual gameplay is going to be like, but uh, compared to the 
other games in this series. I think Second Son really nails moving around. It's just really fun, it's really fluid, and it's fast. And I think that's something that pretty much all of the others lacked. I don't know, wait. For instance, if you played the first Infamous, you probably ah, thought crap. Cole was kind of slow, kind of a weird floaty climber. But here, Delson, he's way better at it, I think. Though I'm not totally sure why he's a parkour expert, but video games. Of course, there are still some moments where that that trademark infamous quirk where you don't quite stick to what you want to stick to happens, and it can be a little odd. That was close. But when it works, it, it really works. Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. And the plan is working perfectly. So if you'll notice that black square with the white arrow, that means you'll have to make a gesture on the PlayStation 4's motion pad. Hey man, I've been looking like forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and you over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent... You're trying to assert your talent? I mean, what the hell are you even do talking this, about? Reggie? Why don't you just let me be who me. I am? Tell me what big, bad, if scary you listen, shit you're going to say I would Sarah's explain from. it to you. Really? Because I don't seem to Reggie, get it. what? Truck. I'm going after those two. You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. This seems like it would have been a good opportunity from to run away from getting arrested, but oh well, I guess. How's the military doing here? Uh, Reggie, guy here needs some help. Shit, dude. Oh, thanks, man. I thought I was gonna die. Hey, man. you alright? Oh, God. Oh. Hey, let him go! Just let him go and keep your hands where I can see him. I don't wanna hurt nobody. I just wanna get going before she gets here. I said let him go or I will shoot you. Fresh. Oh, no. I said I don't wanna hurt nobody. Reg? I gotta find Reggie. What the hell was that? I... What the hell? What's happening to me? God, no! Stop it, stop it, stop it! What's going on? Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Naked, stop! Reg! Reg, I really need you! So we'll touch on it more later, but this is one of many fun movement options Reggie. we're going to get. After the initial shock. No! Reggie! Reg, you okay? Nelson, what was that? I gotta get that thing off you. You just... I gotta get you out! Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, just, just help me push! Dear God. No, no, no! Shit! I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reggie, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. So you're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're all right. You're all right. I'm one of them, man. I'm no. one of them. No. No. You are my brother. All right? You are my brother. Okay. This thing with you is going to pass. I promise. We'll fix it. Right, you with me? You with me? Okay. Okay. Gotta get out there. There is a bio so we gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. Okay. All right? Okay. Come on. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Let's go. Promise me you won't use any of those tricks, okay? I wouldn't have been able to even get to you back there if I hadn't. Just promise me you won't do that. Hey, hey. Just, I don't want you to think what's happened is, is a good thing, okay? Because it's not. Sheriff, we can't get in. The button's jammed. I think Betty's still inside. Jeez, man, the latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? It's only one way to find out. Nelson's a bioterrorist, too. Wait, he's not! Damn it. The tribe hears about you, there's gonna be a panic. Fine, go. Control the mobs. Right, I'm, I'm coming back with help. See if Betty's in there with the bioterrorist. And be careful. You know what those freaks are capable of. Yeah. <laughs> Vents. Good to know. Vents will be very important later on. Not good. Wow, that should have hurt. Betty, where are you, Betty? Spoil the surprise. Almost there, Betty. You gotta get out of here, lady. Stay away from I'm me. I'm trying to help Don't you, lady. Stay away from me. Stop. Stop. Delvin. I was just trying to create a diversion. I didn't know anybody was in you here. You did this to me. You're a conduit. Uh. Betty, I'll explain later. But you gotta get out of here now. Good. I'm gone. Not until you fix this first! I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. 
Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. I saw you. Poking around inside my head. It was me? I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! I'm not going anywhere until you fix this! Listen, I don't know so, what happened, this is sort of an impromptu ready. boss this fight slash Why? introduction to the melee now, combat. Um, I think the melee Welcome combat the is a lot more satisfying, and I think that's going to be a running theme throughout this Let's you. Play, where we talk about how much Anywhere, better this is than the other other this two infamous games. I mean, it's still a little anemic, and it's not satisfying totally, but I think it's a far far cry removed from how two, worthless it was, especially in Infamous now. 1. Ain't going back to Curtin K. Yeah, well, and, and also, I don't you, even man, think it's really me. possible to lose seen, this son. unless you try Both really, you know really hard. You. She's got a way of making people talk. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. Just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever got to know about any of this. Wait a minute, stop and talk about this! Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. <laughs> Is a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor, are you? I, uh, I, I try not to be. <laughs> <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm, I'm not nervous. <laughs> it's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Um, um no, he didn't, he didn't share anything. <laughs> That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay. Okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again. What happened in there? And I will tell you again. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened in there. No, Betty, don't. Really? Still nothing. Well. 
Unless you decide that you do have something to tell me. I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? So, like I mentioned before, I think the crux of this thread is going to be letting you guys make the moral decisions for us. So do we turn ourselves in, save the nice old lady, or fuck it. It's not our problem. So, the choice on this one is yours.